Yo, 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 and welcome back to Crozy with me, Crozy. I mean, oh, all right, bye. <laughs> What's up with everybody? I hope everybody's well. What an absolutely mad day it's been today. Like, what is going on in the world? Like, legitimately, what is going on in the world? Well, first of all, I think we got to start with Wayne Rooney, haven't we? Like, what the hell has gone on there? See, my opinion on that's quite clear. I think he's been absolutely done over a treat, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> it looks like he's so wasted that he can't even see tomorrow. God, God. Yeah, he looks absolutely mullered to me, so I think those bitches that took advantage of him, but I can totally understand why people would be going crazy, but I'll drop loads of photos down. Uh, loads of photos. Uh, links to like Facebooks and all the other news gossip stuff will be below. But yeah, man. It's crazy all the news is breaking. I think he is looking to get the people arrested for it. Uh, in regards to obviously he was drunk and disorderly. So is it fair to be leaking? I think if you flip those photos and put a woman in Rooney's position, I think that becomes a totally different issue. You know, everybody's on the Me Too movement if that's the case. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's a whole Me Too issue waiting to go right there, what happened to Rooney last night. Like. So if you, if you put a woman in Rooney's shoes, or drunk, like, like Rooney was, then I guarantee you people would cry rape faster than you could scream anything in the world. So, yeah, and what you've got to remember is he was a boy, I think, when he did that thing before. You know, when he, when he sort of did that thing with the old woman, he was just a young boy. He wasn't like a young man or anything. He was just a, you know what I mean? He was just like an 18, 19, 20 year old boy who had been with his girlfriend for like the entirety of their lives. And then he, you know, he got given this million pound windfall and it went to his head a bit. But I think for the past sort of 10, 15 years, I think he's been quite good. I think he's been a decent husband, pretty loyal, pretty and all the rest of it. But I think those bitches look to set him up. And I think whatever their goal was, they achieved. I definitely do. I think they had an agenda and they set out to achieve that agenda. And they were successful because they got the they got the newspaper fillings and they got the headlines and they got all that lot as well. Uh, so yeah, poor Wayne Rooney. Like I feel sorry for him because as I said, if it was the other way around and it was a woman all pissed and all drunk like that, then it would be a totally different kettle of fish. It's official, Great Britain are the greatest country in the world. Uh, we've won two gold medals. Two gold medals. Three gold medals. Tom Daly won a gold medal. And Adam Petley won a gold medal. First one for Britain in the 100 meters breaststroke. Are you being No. <laughs> I haven't got a list of topics, Forbes. <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> so congratulations to Tom Daly on winning the diving. So that's lovely, isn't it? Yes, he did well. He did, he did, he smashed it, didn't he? I haven't watched a great deal of it myself, but from what I'm reading... This is his first was, gold, his first gold, isn't it? It was his first Olympic gold, yeah. And I think it was his partner's as well, because it was a synchronised diving, wasn't it, when yes. he won? Yeah. I think it was his partner's first gold as well, so... Right. Come on, I think we've had a really successful day. I think we've scooped up five medals today in all the competitions so far, so... Good. Looking good, mate, for a small little island. But, um, yeah. Uh, Adam PT. Adam PT. Yeah, he's the obviously he's the breaststroke champion. He defended his title from four years ago. So breaststroke. Uh, I wonder why Phelps wouldn't enter that. Maybe maybe he can. I just thought Phelps won everything swimming wise. Well, just thought he was like a human fish. Yeah, but how was he now? Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, that's true. It's like Usain Bolt running yeah. forever. It's just not yeah. going to happen. You're talking about you know, Phelps at like 2008. <laughs> oh, levels. get over 2005, Dean, yeah. isn't it? Stop living in the past. <laughs> Another interesting rumour when the Olympics started was the beds in Tokyo. Uh, the rumour was that to stop the athletes hooking up and getting together and making COVID babies, uh, there was, <laughs> it was so funny, it was a funny story going around that all the athletes' bed were sort of shockproof, for want of a better phrase. So if the um, athletes got a little bit too rambunctious, for a, want of a better phrase, the beds would break. <laughs> Turns out that a couple of the athletes went and jumped straight on the beds to test this theory. And yeah, it was lies. It was sweet little lies. 
So yeah, it looks like all of the athletes in the um, athletes village can be hooking up. Sad news as well, coming out of London today, uh, there's been flash floods in our capital. Bearing in mind it's 24 degrees down where I am, down in Plymouth, so it's absolutely gorgeous down here. But up country, they've got an absolute shed load of crazy bad weather on. So uh, the hospitals up in London have asked people who have been affected by the floods to kind of stay away a little bit. Uh, due to the COVID, so unless it's like a life-threatening injury, life-threatening necessity, then ideally they would like you to uh, stay out of the hospital. So shout out to everybody up in London. Hope you're safe, hope you're sound, hope you're all as well as can possibly be. As crazy as London is at the minute, it's not half as bad as Tunisia. Um, there's been in the past 48 hours, 300 COVID deaths. Uh, which has led to mass protests and mass riots. So much so that the Prime Minister of Tunisia has actually stepped back. He's actually uh, stepped back from his role as Prime Minister. And under Section 25 of their constitution, I could be wrong, I'll, um, I'll find out a bit more information in a bit and pop it down here. But under Section 25 of their constitution, the people can apply for the Prime Minister of Tunisia to actually lose his position as Prime Minister. Uh, so it seems like that most of the people in, um, in Tunisia are done. It's kind of it's kind of a dictatorship to an extent. It's not a full-on China dictatorship, but it was under dictatorship. So the people just wanted their their, their you know their life and their love and their chance and opportunity back or to be given for the first time, depending on how democratic Tunisia is. But yeah, as, as London people, all the people in Tunisia, I hope you're all safe. Um, and you know, power to the people. Definitely, definitely power to the people. Uh, I want to give a big shout out as well to, uh, to uh, Lin Fabin, who was the Chinese weightlifter, who yesterday or the day before, managed to lift 166 kilograms on one foot. <laughs> Man strength. So my Olympic champion of the day, that got him through his qualifying round, but I think he damaged his Achilles earlier on in the lift. I think he damaged his Achilles in, the, in an earlier lift uh, at 160, 160 kilograms, I think it was, in an attempt at 166 kilograms, and that actually he nailed with one foot. I'll see if I can find the video and pop it in here. Yeah, shit. So shout out to uh, Lin Fang, Lin Fan, sorry, and his expertise in the weightlifting because. Nailed it, dude. He absolutely freaking nailed it. As I have nailed Monday. I've had an absolutely stunning Monday on a personal level, despite all the new stories going No, It's been an absolutely winning Monday. Looking forward to getting home, editing this video, and having myself a run. So that was a short and sweet one from me. Just a little quick coverage of all the goings on in the world today. Uh, Thank you very much for watching. You know the drill. Comment, like, subscribe, all the rest of the BS. And I'll speak to you all soon. Much love. Peace.